Well, now it's in here. In well, now it's back in my messy shed, waiting for the battery, which is going to go on to here. So where the um, bottle holder screws are. Well, apart from waking us up at some ungodly hour this morning, I think my new battery bike battery has finally arrived. Had a bit of a nightmare about this the other day. I dreamt that it had arrived. <clears throat> Box was about the same size as this. It was a lot lighter than what I expected. And when I opened the box, instead of a brand new battery for my bike, they'd sent donuts and other food related, related stuff. I'm sure that's not what's going to be in this box because this is a lot heavier. So let's open it up and see what it is. Looking through the camera's viewfinder this time so the camera doesn't drift away from what I'm actually doing. I haven't been up for very long so my voice is very husky at the moment. Very squeaking, very... And I'm barely with it. In fact, my nose is just like it is every morning. Except, of course, it's not morning. It's about almost 2 p.m. now. I don't actually get up that late, but... I have a few other things to do. Break them. All right. Let's take a look at what's inside. Could this be what I think it is? I think it is. The GoPro does not like the frequency of these lights, but there's not much I can do about that. Oh, yes. Now, this is a lot more like it. I don't know if this thing is recording because the screen is just turned off. Just what the doctor ordered. very hard to do this with one hand. That's why the camera's waving about in free space at the moment. Keys, I'm gonna need these. And a charger that I just whacked with the camera. I mean, just whacked the camera with the charger. That's sure you're not gonna do it much good. I just have to put the camera down when I'm doing this. Are you still recording? Good. Right. Let's get rid of that. And have a look at what we've got. Okay. So we've got the battery itself, cable, and charger. Now, I don't have the right connector for this, but I can just... When has something like that been a problem? So, turn this, this bottom bit should come off. I'm turning it the right way, of course. Because I'm going to need to stick that onto the bike. don't know how this actually comes out. Unless, of course, it was already unlocked and I've just locked it. Ah, uh, bear with me a minute. So, this goes onto the bike, and then the battery slots onto that. And away you go. Now, well, let's see how charged this is. I've turned the battery on. Let's see if this does anything. Should be about halfway charged. Well, there's plenty of charge in there anyway. It's a bit taller than I thought it would be. But that just means more power. Right, well, I've got to get all this crap out the way first. This is the bike I've been riding in the meantime. Because while I could have ridden this one, I... I don't really want to do that without the battery in it, in case I break something. I think this one is also an e-bike, but it's uh, had all the bits that make it an e-bike ripped out of it. So I don't really care if I break this one. I know this shed is in a terrible state. Where am I going to get this cleaned up this summer? Yeah. I hope we don't have a summer like, um, like last year. 
well, this year rather. 40 degree days was just unbearable. I hope next summer's going to be warm, but not unbearably hot like this one was. Uh, uh, this has got all kinds of junk in the way still. <clears throat> I'm going to have to um, do that properly. Let's just... It's just on there so I don't lose it. Right. Let's get to work. That is, if you can hear me over the... All the cars on the main road over there. First thing, um, I still got the old battery in here. And the door is closing on me. Well, I. You know what? <laughs> there. Now close. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on there. Um, it's about as best as I can get it. Hell, if the camera was actually, um, pointed at it. And that'll just about fit on there. These little nubbins are very low, but, uh, yeah. Okay, so I've run into my first problem of the day. Because the drink holder screw things are so far back here, if I slot the battery in, um, the chain wheel gets in the way. So, I screwed it in here, and I'm going to drill another hole right there, put the other screw in, and we should be good to go. Well, that was a little tough, but that is on there nice and firmly. Next thing to do is the wiring. Alright, it's rather a hack job. But it's done. You wouldn't believe the amount of trouble I had soldering these wires together. On the positive, I ended up with a great big glob of solder, which I couldn't get the heat shrink over. So I've just had to do it this way. Should still work. I think... I don't think I was pointing the camera at what I was actually shooting, but, you know... So, there's a couple of other things I've got to do now. Right, okay. Battery's installed. It's a lot bigger than the old battery. This one really looks the business. Before we power up, though, I just want to bridge those two fuse connections with a 10 ohm resistor to make sure that the capacitor in here is charged. Okay, you can sort of see what I'm doing. battery back on and we should be in business and the GoPro has turned itself off I don't even I don't even know if it's still recording is it recording it says highlight added I don't know what that means I'll turn this on oh yes we has power Um, what can I put this without a rude answer? Just want to put the camera somewhere. Um, I'll stick it there. Make sure this is working.
It's alive! Well then, I think that's about it for this video. I might actually mount the GoPro on this, because I've actually put a GoPro mount on there. So we can actually take you out on my rides now. But yeah, I'm going to have a little ride around the neighbourhood, make sure this is working. Well, that went, <clears throat> well, that went very well, I think. Uh, yeah, now I'm going to get its first charge. I mean, yeah, there was plenty of charge in it. It was 60%, I'd say around 60% charge when I got it. But, um, you know, I want to charge this up to about 85% each time. And uh, just occasionally, like maybe every 10 rides, ride it all the way down to practically nothing and then give it a full charge to recalibrate the BMS. And, well, I, yeah, all went very well. Apart from that one mishap with the soldering, but, um... My soldering skills were never the best. All went very well. Had a nice ride. Next time I'm going to take you out on the GoPro. But until next time, goodbye.